Hey everyone, it's Coach Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation and we're going to give you another quick tip end of the season championship phase of the year and one of the keys to success as you approach the championship phase is to be thinking about less. It's no longer the time to be trying to make massive technical changes. It's about time to fine tune. It's about time to get uh, good rhythm and one of the key things to doing so is simply staying continuous. So whether it's the glide, the rotational shot or the discus, one of the core things that you're going to always want to do is keep it moving. Anytime there's hesitation throughout any phase of your throw, you're going to be slowing down speed and slower uh, speed of release means shorter distances. So when we're looking at things like the shot and we're moving in, we want to just simply keep everything moving and rotating in through the finish. The discus is much the same. Again, we have a slightly different path of the left arm and the lower body and how that left works together and the length is longer because the implement's proximity to the body. But the key thing, especially I think for discus throwers, and is that you want to be focusing on staying long and continuous. So when we move, we're going to be really keeping that foot moving all the way through the finish. We have to be accelerating through uh, the release point. And what happens with a lot of young throwers with the discus, because you have the implement, sometimes you see this little stall and that means the discus is going to catch up and it's actually going to slow down. Any, any point of hesitation is going to be a bad thing. When we're focusing on our glide and we're loading up and we're driving, we want to be able to get that foot down and up as fast as possible. The, one of the biggest things that you see is when people hit, they, they pause, heels low, and then they move. So they kind of, it's called it a gather, right? And there's this slowdown where you see people kind of collecting and then moving again and I call it a hesitation or a pause. So the key thing and the main point of this video is a very simple tip. Going into that championship phase of the season, we don't want to be overthinking and oftentimes some of the things that need to be uh, focused on are simply making sure that you're keeping everything continuous. You want zero points of hesitation from start to finish and you don't want to have any pause all the way through the release point at whatever, whether it's the glide, again the rotational shot or the discus so again simple tip don't overcomplicate it if you're new to throwing if you constantly just work on keeping your whole movement fluid and continuous that's going to usually result in uh, a simple way to add uh, distance to your throw so hope that tip helps be sure to check us out and subscribe thanks